Aloha. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii. I'm Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, host of Sister Power. Beachside Lighting started out as a two-person operation and has grown over the last 20 years to 25 employees. Their business manufactures copper and brass landscape and architectural fixtures that are sold in Hawaii, on the mainland, and throughout the world. Today's Sister Power guest is Whitney Benedict Subab, su, tell Suboda. Me. Suboda. Suboda. She currently serves as Vice President of Beachside Lighting, and her duties include operations, facilities, management, finances, and human resource management for the company. Whitney, welcome to Sister Thank you. Power. Thanks, Sharon. Sorry. Glad to be here. I'm so glad you're here. It took us a while, but we're here. Yeah, we're here. And Excited. sorry if I kind of messed up that Swoboda. That last name is difficult for everybody. It's yeah. quite all right. <laughs> Tell me about the last name. This. Uh, it's my husband's last name. It's a bohemian in nature, and I believe it means freedom. Oh. People have told us. So. Okay. Yeah. I like I'll take that. It. Yeah, it's good. You'll take it. Sounds yeah. good. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, um, I'm a Hawaii resident for 23 years. Now I'm originally from Indiana. Grew up on a farm out there. and. Ended up here by accident, as many people do. Um, came once and fell in love and decided to make this my permanent home, and, and I love it. So I've um, been um, working at Beachside Lighting and running things over there for almost since I've moved here, 20 plus years now. What a blessing. It is. Yes. Well, tell us about Beachside Lighting. Tell us a little bit about the business. So. Um, my partner founded the company, and originally we started out um, seeing a need for fixtures, landscape lighting fixtures, anything that would be near the ocean that would withstand a salt water environment. Salt spray, anything that comes with that. Um, we all know how corrosive that can be. Um, so our first project was to remake a lot of the tiki torches that you see Ooh. everywhere. Um, so. They used to be made of steel, they used to have a seam, and now it's a, a seamless copper tiki torch and that doesn't rust, it just ages well with time. And that was kind of our bread and butter product, and through that oh, we... Oh, we have the torches here. Yeah, Tell us about are. that. It's beautiful. So that's just kind of the standard, traditional, you know, tiki torch. We, we remade it to, you know, make it out of copper so it would withstand the environment so they wouldn't have to be replaced. As what often. is that little blue light mm -hmm. that's coming out of the torches there? I noticed there was a blue, see the blue that's light? That's the there? gas. So that's, oh. uh, yeah, that's a gas, natural gas or propane tiki torch. So that's the blue that the gas gives off. Now, are those yeah. the torches that we see at the, the majority of the hotels? Everywhere, yes. We make that's those. That's beachside lighting? That is beachside lighting, yes. And if you look underneath the torch, you'll see a label on there. It says Lamaku, which is our corporation name, which means torch. Which in means Hawaii. torch. Yeah. And I want the audience to know the background, our background, which is yeah, absolutely lovely. lovely, is beachside lighting. It is. Torches and lighting both, I think, in that photo. Wow. Yeah. It really makes a difference in your outdoor space. And we live outside in yeah. Hawaii. So, yeah, any I, coastal area. I actually. could see why beachside lighting has lasted so long. I think that we take for granted about the lighting and the beauty that the lighting brings um, your entire environment to life. Yes, yes. I mean, we, we spend a, lot, a majority of our time outside here and people spend money on their landscaping and enjoying that space and you should be able to enjoy it day or night. So having that lighting out there really allows you to enjoy all that. Well, how do you get your clientele, I know you, you've, Beachside lighting, you're do, you've done business in the Caribbean? Yes. Um, well, our target market are people who will specify our product. It is a high-end product. It's not cheap. Um, so we want people to believe in the professionals that they're working with that will specify this on a plan and say, this is a product that lasts. Um, that has led us to a network of sales reps all over the country. Um, in trade shows, we've met people from all over the world. We, we do have a distributor in the Caribbean. We have a network of distributors and salespeople in Dubai. We're doing a lot of work in the Middle East and 
all over, really. Any coastal area is a perfect fit for our, our products. So do you get to travel there and and occasionally? Occasionally, yes. Now, yeah. now when they contact you, who takes it from there? Walk us through when a client contact beachside lighting. Right. So we do have a we have a website, and people can contact us through there. So it could be a Hawaii resident, could be somebody international. Um, we do have two inside salespeople that handle all of those requests, information requests. And if we have a rep in that area, we farm them out to the rep to give them more personal service locally. And if it's uh, international, usually we take care of that on our own. You do? Yeah. Wow. yeah. So you have a full day. Are you six Very days full. a week, five days a five, week? Five days a week. Five yeah, we're week. managing it five days a week. And it's, it's difficult sometimes. There's a lot of work to be done. We are manufacturing a product. We're not bringing it in and selling oh, it. We're, so you manufacture your own products? We are. Yes, all of our designs and our hours of our design and manufacture. Now, yeah. that's good to hear. Yes. You heard it here first, everyone. <laughs> Think yeah. Beachside Lighting manufactures their fixtures here in, in the United Hawaii. States yes. in Hawaii. Yes. That's good to hear. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we do have, there, there are many other landscape lighting manufacturers. They're on the mainland. Um, we're one of the few manufacturers in Hawaii that isn't a clothing or food product. So it's unique. It is unique. Yeah. You know, when I met you, we had such a wonderful mm. conversation at the Tea and Champagne. Yes. And I was listening to you tell me about your organization. And what would you... What type of advice would you give to girls and young women to get into this type of industry? Because it, you're in a male-dominated business, am I correct? We are. I, the, the landscape industry, um, there, there are many women working as designers and, and even landscapers themselves, um, landscape architects. The manufacturing industry, industry we have found to be still male-dominated. Um, this was a very new to me. My experience is, as a Spanish teacher, uh, you know, I, yeah, I kind I of that. jumped in and got involved in the business and uh, everything I've done, I have learned along the way. And there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. It's interesting. It's learnable. It takes you to places all over the world. And I never thought that being involved in a manufacturing business would allow me to do a lot of the things that I've done. So I would just say, if, if you have an interest in it, to, to just go for it. There's no limit for women in that industry at all. Is there any, some type of degree that you need to have, some type of certification? You know, my partner and I, neither one of us have a background in manufacturing or engineering at all. We definitely have taught ourselves everything that we have needed to know for this business. That being said, it never hurts to have a mathematical mind, a little bit okay. of an engineering experience. Um, those things are helpful. You know, we've, we've grown along the way and have made mistakes. And that's yeah, okay. That's how you and learn. Every, everybody does. Um, but some of that was having a little lack of knowledge in those areas. But still, we've have figured it out. Let's look at a couple of more pictures. Yeah. I want to show the, the uh, t oh, that is absolutely beautiful. It is. Tell us about that. That's a hanging, a hanging fixture. It can be installed, you know, hanging from a tree. Just need the wiring run up to that. And the, that cylinder is a solid brass cylinder. It's perforated, so the light shines outward as well as down. So if you were seated in the chair, you can see there's some lighting down below and also kind of shining outward from the fixture. Oh, and that's beautiful. Is that someone's home? It is someone's home. I'm not sure whose home it is. Oh, that's we have right. many photos, but um, that's a path lighting fixture. So it's kind of illuminating the landscape next to it as well as providing security going down the stairs. As so well. what is it? Oh, look at that one. It's yeah, gorgeous. That's an interesting project that we got through our New York City rep. Um, and that is some lighting at the polar bear exhibit at the Central Park Zoo. Polar bear <laughs> exhibit? Yes. <laughs> Just, you never know where our fixtures are going to end up. Many times we sell them and we have no idea. But it's nice when we're working with the rep, they a lot of times will give us some background information. And we get to know some of the really interesting places where they end up. So do, do the reps fly out to the location and they work with architects? They're, they're local reps, so the they're serving reps. their area. So we, I'm not sure the exact number. We probably have between 30 and 40 reps at this point who are out promoting beachside lighting locally in their area. So they're contacting specifiers, architects, landscape architects, and designers. Um, 
that's who they contact on our behalf. Oh my, you know, this is just yeah. so interesting to me. I <laughs> love you. it. What are some of the challenges of beachside lighting? The biggest challenge is just manufacturing any product in Hawaii. Uh, it is a logistical nightmare. A lot of the services that we need, like machining up parts and that kind of thing, there are very few people that do that here. Requires a lot of expensive machinery, a trained individual to run those machines. Um, so we do get a lot of our parts made on the mainland, even though they're our design. And then timing that to bring them all in, to do all the assembly, to get them out on time to the customers, that is, that's the biggest challenge. And we're, we're very fortunate that we have a few key employees that really make that happen for us. So you, usually, what is the turnaround time? It, it very much depends on the order. For something like lighting up a home that could be maybe 20-ish fixtures, that's a one or two week you know, turnaround. Oh. We have other orders that are several hundred fixtures at once, and of course that adds weeks, you know, depending on what it is, could take quite a while. So do you have to employ outside help to come in and help with your employees no. to complete the project? No, so this is all it. in house. It is, yeah. Yeah, we have a very good team. We have many employees that have been with us for 10 plus years, and they are good at what they do. They are dedicated to the company, and we love them so very much. And it's kind of like a family working so, together to get uh, the, the work done. Yeah. So you've been at the company from the start. And so, not from the very start, from but the very, very start, shortly but after, for, yes. For, for how many years again? 22. 22 years. Yes. And so the company has been in existence for 20... Since 1994. Since 1994. The incorporation. Yeah. So what has, what has the turnaround been like at your at Beachside Lighting? As far as employees go? Yes. Well, like any business, you know, um, you get some people that come and they're in and out very quickly. Um, out of our 25 employees, I believe we have at least 10 who have been with us for 10 years or more and some going on 13, 14, 15 years. So oh, that's that wonderful. is, it is, it is. So certain positions turn over a little bit more and, um, but that's okay. That's just do you running have a, a business. Room? We do have a showroom. It's in our Kailua um, office, and it's very small, but it has everything in there that we would need to show somebody if well, they were interested. Okay. Well, Whitney, <laughs> you'll have to visit. I, I <laughs> want to come and visit. That would be I great. just need the invitation. Oh, well, anytime. Anytime. Yeah, anytime. Well, well when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation about beachside lighting. Sounds great. All right. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming Salamat po, mabuhay, and aloha. Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. We're back. Welcome back to Sister Power, and my VIP guest is Whitney, Vice President of Beachside Lighting. Yes. And as we were telling the audience, our background is from your company, the, the Light Fixtures, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Beautiful. So again, very quickly for people who are just tuning in, tell us a little bit about Beachside Lighting again. Beachside Lighting manufactures um, copper and brass landscape lighting, solid fixtures to withstand a corrosive environment, salt air environment. And that's yep. perfect for Hawaii. And everything is manufactured here. Here we, in Hawaii, yes. Right here in Hawaii. Yes. What about shipping and shipping cost? 
For the customer? For the customer. For the customer. So this has improved greatly over the last 20 years. And at the, at the beginning of our business, it was um, everybody's concern on the main line. Oh, getting fixtures from Hawaii, it's too, it's too much, it's too expensive. Um, now, even to Hawaii, we can get things shipped for free all the time. So we have, we have shipping policies in place for certain dollar limit orders. We'll actually ship it for free. But because our business has grown and because we're shipping out boxes every single day, different orders, our rates are very good and we, it's actually very affordable for the customers. We don't very rarely get a grumble about shipping now. And that's rare to hear in Hawaii that it's affordable. You oh. don't re rarely hear that word right. affordability. Well, we've here had in to make it affordable because we, we don't want to scare people away from the product yeah. because of a shipping cost. It's a good product. And now that um, we have kind of built a reputation and have tried to facilitate and share in some of that shipping cost, then we don't hear too many grumbles about that. Oh, that's yeah. good. Well, let's look at more of the, some of your work again. We have more pictures to show. Oh, tell us about that one. So that, that's kind of a bread and butter fixture. That's a directional fixture. can be used for up lighting, down lighting, sideways. And that picture is a good demonstration of the solid brass that we use. That's kind of an unfinished fixture, so you can see that it's a solid brush fixture. Oh. Um, that's a path lighting fixture, again, to light underlying landscape or a pathway, steps. That kind of, that's a nice Lonnie Kai photo. Um, this is a bollard fixture. Also, it, bollards are also used for lighting pathways. Um, this one is a more of a commercial grade fixture that you might see at a hotel or a resort property. Oh, now that's beautiful. It is. That is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful and functional. So you get light up and down, and then you get the, um, actually we have an artist on the Big Island that makes those sconces for us. So it's our fixture behind the sconce, and then we have those custom made for our So business. you work with other vendors to just make it all come together and they're, beautify They're it. pretty much the only ones, but they do these custom sconces and, and torch covers for us that are amazing and each one is made by hand made by hand made by hand yes a yes. lot of work that's put into beautifying a, a business and your and your home yes and yes. so anyone can just call beachside lighting and say i i want your business i need your business and this is what my vision is yes so for you know for professionals in the business architects and lighting designers we will come out we'll visit you we'll give a demonstration of our products um, and even homeowners if you need help with you know lighting design to a certain degree we do help with that as well so we try to guide people to the best products for their need oh that's good yeah. what name some locations where beachside lighting has been installed oh this is one of my projects that i've been wanting to work on is installing a big world map in our in our break room so that our employees can see the reach of beachside lighting you know they they make fixtures every day and they usually don't know where they're ending up but our fixtures are worldwide they're they're absolutely everywhere it's hard to name a place where they're not at oh. this point so it's 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 very interesting you know especially the torches they tend to go more worldwide than anything else the hawaii gets a lot of visitors and they look at the torches and they want that for themselves so the torches probably have the biggest worldwide reach but having distributors and reps in different countries and things greatly expands people's knowledge of beachside lighting did you yeah. mention dubai yes that was a surprise that came from a lighting designer that we met at a trade show many years ago that used to work in the united states he relocated to dubai and loved our product and has helped us grow our business over there tremendously that's it's very just, interesting. Yeah. 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 Sounds, have you ever been to Dubai? I have not. Not yet. I'm sure that's an open invitation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's an open Someday. invitation. Someday. Right? Someday. Yeah. I know that Beachside Lighting prides itself on customer service. Elaborate on various parts of the equation. You know, when we started the business, my partner and I were a two-man operation for a long time. So we were doing absolutely everything. Manufacturing the product, shipping the product, speaking with customers, developing brochures and because of that all of our customers got to know us very personally now that we've grown we've had to kind of let loose of that a little bit our salespeople um, represent us our anybody answering the phone anybody coming to pick up an order and our employees know how important our reputation is 
and we ask them to uphold that and treat everybody with aloha so that they have a good experience and have good feelings about beachside lighting. Very important. Very important. Well, you can look at the pictures and look at the lighting and look at how you've placed everything that you, when beachside lighting completes the project, you do leave with a good feeling. This beauty is just, this just makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. People do love it when, when their lighting is finally installed and they get to enjoy their outdoor space and highlight the hard work that they've put into getting that. They, they do love it. Uh, yeah. So you stocked all your products. Well, we are or in constant you? manufacture, so I would not say necessarily that they're in stock, but as soon as you place your order, we begin manufacturing them, right? That goes into a production timeline and they get made. Well, what do you do for downtime? I mean, what, I mean, because this is an ongoing business, it seems to, you're constantly busy. Yes. If people are building, businesses are constantly going up. What do you do to relax? Myself personally? You, yes. <laughs> Not much. Um, no. I have I have three children. Uh, they keep me really busy. I have a daughter in college, a sophomore in high school, and a first grader. Ooh. So um, usually in my downtime, I'm doing something, fam you know, with family. Um, I do like to exercise. I like to spend time with friends. I serve on different boards in the community to kind of Tell us about the board you back. serve on. Um, my first board experience was with uh, Baby Hui of Hawaii. That is now called Family Hui. And that was many years ago before I understood what being a good board member was all about. I was just uh, passionate about the organization. I was on the board for Family Promise of Hawaii, which um, helps to um, have families experience homelessness in the community less, you know, less, get them out of that situation. I was on that board for six years, and um, currently I'm on the board for the Women's Fund of Hawaii, which is a grant-making um, operation to fund women and children programs. In yeah, I like that organization. Oh, That's where great. you and I met. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Getting back to beachside lighting, what are the biggest obstacles, and how do you overcome them? Logistics is... is really the biggest obstacle. Um, we are reliant on having a lot of our parts made in the United States. We do not order parts from China. That would be a lot easier. It would be in, more inexpensive, but we're very committed to making a U.S. made product. Mm -hmm. Because of that, the, you know, our lead times can be long sometimes if we get parts in that um, don't mate well, it don't match up, or we're not made co correctly, that kind of sets the timeline back. And our aim is to keep customers happy. So the logistics and the manufacturer is always the tightrope that, that we're walking on there. Did you have a role model before you, for, for something like this, that you're in a male-dominated business, was there a role model oh, for you? Um, this might make me teary, but my mom is my role model. She's just a strong woman, um, very involved in the community, involved in business. Both my parents actually have amazing work ethic. My partner has amazing work e ethic. Um, and that's just something I try to pass along to my kids is just, you just keep going. It's one foot in front of the other. You'll learn it, you'll do it, yeah. that kind of thing. And to give back to the community as much as you can. That's what it's all about, yeah. you know, paying it forward. And yeah. I know about that teary eye. My mother's my, <laughs> is my role model, too. Yeah. You still have your mother? Yes, I do. Oh, you're so blessed. I am. You're such a blessed woman to have yeah. your, role, your, your, your mother as your role model. And I'm sure she's very proud of you. I hope so. I like to think so. Yeah, sure yeah. she is. <laughs> you, you, you are a leader, whether you want it sometimes, you. W w whether you want to realize it or not. What is the toughest aspect about being a leader? It's, it's interesting you say that I am a leader. I, in my heart, I know that I am. I know that I'm setting an example for my employees or my children. Um, I honestly don't think about it. I just, mm. I just do. I, I know it's important to show up. I know it's important to be there um, and set that example in whatever it is, whether it's home or school. I, I, I don't think about it much. I just, I just do. Just show up. Show up. Be Just there. Show up do what you're supposed smile. to do. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. Yeah, Everybody knows yeah, that. Yeah. So it's, it's just important to do what you know you're supposed to do. Yeah. Wow. That, <laughs> just, that, just, that makes me feel so good because oh, that's thanks. so important. Yeah. It's so important that your word is your bond mm -hmm. and that you, people 
their expectations after viewing your beautiful work. <laughs> you, you have to surpass it each time. How do you do that? We do have to keep growing. You know, okay. technology changes. Our products have changed over the years because technology yeah. improves. Lighting improves. It's something people don't think about a lot. You know, you used to be able to, you used to have giant fixtures to give the same amount of light now that a tiny little fixture will bring. So we need to be able to know that we are going to have to change and accept that and be ready for it and, and do it. That's, that's how you keep current in your business. Are there certain classes that your employees need to um, attend sometimes since the, the organization is growing, technology is changing? We have, we have done some classes, not so much with our production staff. They do have to learn all of that, but we usually train that in-house. Since we are designing our own fixtures, then we also train them how to build them. Train too. So they're learning yeah. on the job as yes. well. So that's a big benefit, especially working in an organization. Yeah. If something is beautiful, uh, the, the work that you do. Yeah. Well, Whitney. Yeah. Whitney, Whitney, <laughs> Thank you, this Jen. has been absolutely wonderful. And I would suggest any organization, any business, homeowners to definitely contact Beachside Lighting. Yes, please. And how, how would they contact you? Our website is beachsidelighting.com. We're located in Kailua. Um, you can find our address on the, every, all the information is on the website. It's easy to visit us, and we welcome everybody to come. Oh, thank you yeah, so much thanks for, for having coming. me. Thank I you had a so great time. Much. Thank you. Well, this is it, Sister Power. This is the end of our show, and thank you for spending part of your day with ThinkTech Hawaii and Sister Power, and aloha.